welcome, ladies and gentlemen, pool fans and players from around the world to the Horseshoe Casino just outside of Louisville, Kentucky. Behind me, for the last 20 years, players and fans have gathered right here, well, for the very best pool playing in the entire world. To put it all on the line. And this year, 16 of the greatest players on the planet to compete on this beautiful diamond five by 10. And let me ask Derby City, have you been impressed with the level of play so far in this tournament? It has been absolutely incredible. The toughest field we have ever, ever seen. And we have made it to the finals of the Diamond Bigfoot 10 Ball Challenge. Only one will be crowned a champion and we're gonna be crowning a brand new champion here tonight. Let's meet the finalist right now. He got here by defeating Eklund Kachi, Shane Van Boning, and Fedor Gorst. He's a 2012 World 8 Ball Champion, 2018 International Open Champion, sponsored by Predator Longassi and CPBA cloth from Taipei, Taiwan. Make some noise for Chang Chong Lin. And his opponent got here by defeating Lee Van Corteza in round one, Francisco Bustamani and Dennis Orcolo. He's a winner of the China Open World Nine Ball Championship, Moscone Cup MVP and ranked number one in the world. Sponsored by Predator from Stahlberg, Germany, he's the killer, Joshua Filler. <laughs> Our referee for the final match is also our tournament director, Steve McDonald. And now, going to send it up to the Skybox and the AccuStats booth, Mark Wilson and Danny Deliberto. The ultimate 10 ball showdown is before us now. Four days of serious pools led to our next match. Mark Wilson and Danny Deliberto on the call. Danny, genuine pool ex excellence in front of us. The greatest field ever assembled and they lived up to it. Look at those legs. Yeah. <laughs> That's championship <laughs> lagging right there. Filler has won. As a little tidbit, in the last match, Filler broke and ran eight times. Shot 956. Playing Dennis Orcolo, who uh, twice, uh, once he broke dry, once he scratched, Filler ran both of those racks, eight of his own. 10 of his 11 wins came by virtue of a point where Arcolo had no say whatsoever in the outcome of that rack. We've never seen anything like it. Well, it's a new day right now. The one ball has been drifting into the corner pocket or hanging up or near, and so if one of the other balls goes in, he usually has a good shot on the one. See how the one ball is coming down to that corner pocket. It did so throughout the previous match. Three balls in the corner. And this is exactly how he ran eight racks in the last match. Playing position on the one ball. He started off last match with a break and run out. And he has an opportunity to do so here. Capacity crowd here for the final match. This is a Monday night. Oh. Great speed. No, he overran his mark. I think he's got to spin this. No, I think he's got it. Oh, maybe he does. Okay, he's oh, a he level does. Q. Yeah, he definitely does. Okay. Once he leveled out his cue, I was aware that he had enough room, but boy, it looked like he got awful close. Now he's overran his position here just a little bit. And it's a little bit iffy here. He's kind of in between everything. That side yeah, pocket looms large. Plenty. If he digs down and goes behind the side pocket, now getting uh, too far down, no, he was able to go forward, come across this way so that he was never in jeopardy of being out of position. That was not easy. <laughs> no. He 
about to hit this little hard Slow too. Down. He's okay. I'm like you. I'm not pulling for anybody. I just don't want anybody to play bad. Fun to watch Filler. He's so fast, so quick. Makes his mind up, executes. Uncanny accuracy would describe Joshua Filler. Filler the killer. Break and run out here to start the match. 1-0, Filler. He's being touted as the best player ever out of Germany. Like you said earlier, that's pretty good. You got Ralph Souquet, Oliver Ortman. That's good compliment. I'd say. On his route to getting here in the finals, he had 12 break and run outs along the way. That would be during the 36 rack or 33 racks that he won. So uh, more than a third of his racks were by virtue of break and run out. Opens up this match with a break and run out. Chang is known for tactical excellence. Very proficient. Very stoic at the table. He had a big match here with Shane Van Boning last night. It was 9-9. He went on to win the match. 11-9. His one ball will go to the opposite corner pocket. 5-9 and nine right behind the head ball. Those are the ones that have been making the most off it in the side. One ball got chipped up the table a little bit there. He didn't make the 5 in the side. I think he can make the one inside. Yeah, it looks like it's on. It's and go he doesn't time. have to travel far to the two. That enables him to use a little bit softer speed, which aids accuracy. It's a fairly narrow window there, but we certainly fully expect him to get this ball. He hits the pocket so purely all the time that his position is always good. If you well, the thing about that, that could have been a tough shot if you had to do something to get to the two. But the two was right there. Yeah. So he could just cinch the one. And now he's off to the races. Chang makes conservative choices and then supports it with great execution. And once he gets in line, he rarely ever gets to a spot where he has to make a hard shot. Fully capable of making hard shots, he just doesn't expose himself to have to make hard shots very often. It's hard work to play that way. You have to be very fit. Rather than that be elevated over the nine, which it looks like he will be. We're playing fouls on everything, so he's got to be careful. The good news is here, if he pockets the four, the cue ball will travel a foot away from the cushion. That's all he needs. Does not have to do a whole lot. This is mainly just ball pocketing. Very clean entry into the pocket for the object ball. This may be a match of the two best players in the world. Arguably, you could certainly say that. We said the same last night with him and Shane Van Boning. T 
Wow. Yeah, we're always stunned when there's an uncharacteristic Shot. miss. Open ball miss. Filler was out of his chair. <laughs> Chang had not hardly risen up from the miss. Chang, uh, Filler was already around to shoot this ball. It's like a shock when the guy misses. Very smooth queuing action from Feller. A little bit of low left. He'll stay on the same side of the table with the cue ball here. Filler takes advantage of the unforced error and expands his lead two games to zero. One of our great fans texted in to ask Danny D a question. Her name is Allison Fisher. She wants to know what cinching means. What cinching? Correct. Cinching means you're just making the ball without doing anything else. You're not playing position. You're just cinching the ball. Making the ball Making, making sure you make the ball by not risking any type of positional exposure to risk. And that was Allison Fisher? Mm-hmm. Hiya, Allison. Set to go here. Rack number three. Look at that break. I don't know if he's going to make anything, but it was a great break. Parked the cue ball right in the center. Yeah. He's disappointed. He got that the wrist flip there where he flipped his hand as if to say, what's going on here? So used to having everything kind of go in on the break and have a good shot. Well, he had a good shot. Chang has some work to do to get to the two. Yeah, this is a real predicament here. I think you'd have to stun the cue ball straight across the table between the five and six and get back across the table, about where the diamond is up near the side pocket to have a good shot. Yeah, don't hit any balls after you make them. That one. requires really good execution. Man, what a shot that was. You're not kidding. Good shot. That was that deceptively difficult. Well, when it gets difficult, he'll figure out what to do for sure. And he did it. Man, that was not easy. sure how much of the opening the five ball has past the eight. Looks like the majority of it, but not the entirety of it. Yeah, it is close in case it goes, but I don't really think it does. Additionally, he has just a fraction the wrong angle here on the three, so he has, he has some mental work to do here. He's decided what he's going to do. Just trickle ahead. Now, he didn't really get optimum. I think he was trying to go another inch or two forward where he could draw. Here, he'll have to play three rails around with inside spin. This will be a pretty shot. The good news is, if he did play for this angle, is that his cue ball will always forever be tracking towards the five ball so that the speed is not so critical. You do want to be close. Well, he was able to hold it. 
terrific. Apparently, the five goes. No, it didn't go. He just played it safe. <laughs> well, this will be interesting. Tough shot, tough position. I don't think you shoot this. Figure out a safe. Boy. Everything is too tough. Big match. You don't want to gamble. True. But you also don't want to lose with a phony safe, as you've always told me, and I agree with that thought. So if he doesn't know a good safe, maybe he could bank. I mean, no, it's he tough. Can bank, he could bank the five between right. the 10 and 9 and all the way back Get down. Get to the end rail. The only problem with that is if you leave a shot, he does Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> there Never you go. Never mind. What a shot that was. Never mind everything I was saying. Uh, what a shot that was. Unbelievable. <laughs> they hit the back of the pocket so pure. And he got perfect position. No, he doesn't. He's got the eight ball in the way, Danny. He's got some problems here. I don't know if you want to take on that combination because the eight ball's an inch from the cushion. Yeah, I think he can play the combination. Fall on it close. Well, he's close, so it looks like he is content to play it. Is he going rail first with the six? I think he is. Gives him a little bigger margin of error. No, he went right to the ball. Oh, pure. Just pure. Hey, he's feeling good. Now you got where he can uh, make a draw stroke, it looks like. No, nope. he was able to stun it forward. Boy, this kid's off to the races. Yeah, a couple minor errors from Chang has turned into a three-game lead for Joshua Filler. This is a continuation of what he did today. Yeah. 21 years of age. He's won the Chinese Open, the World Championship. I got a feeling he's going to win a lot more. He was the Moscone Cup MVP for Europe two years ago. Then did not get selected last year, which was a little bit of a, a crazy circumstance. I guess he didn't have quite a sound of a year. But I'd say he's deep in the running for this year in the early stages. When is the Moscone Cup this year? Well, it's always about the first week of December. I'm, I'm not positive. I'm sure they've announced it, but I didn't really log that into my brain. But they'll be in Las Vegas. I know that. Seven and nine ball right behind the one. Seven found the side. One ball goes down by its place in the corner. Yeah, he's got that shot again. Now the two and the nine are tangled up over there. And they're pretty close together, so they're not dead into the pocket. He doesn't have a dead combination, but it might be doable with soft speed and a little bit of throw. I don't know if we can get a close-up on that or not, but. I feel like he can make it just from where I'm sitting, but it's certainly it's aimed to about a half a diamond away from the corner pocket. So that means he's going to have to hit the lower side of this two ball. Provided they're either very, very close or frozen. That's what I said. The nine's almost dead, about a half a diamond away. 
No, nope. I'm just play safe. My goodness, what nice speed that was. Great shot. I don't think he snookered him, though. I think he can hit the ball. Boy, I'd be scared to death to leave the edge of the ball for filler from this, uh, this type of shot because the two ball is so close to the pocket. <laughs> but it's nine and a half feet away. Well, it, it must not go because he's not quickly shooting this. He's debating. So he must have got him on the edge of the nine, which means that was a great shot. Gonna try to kick this ball. Wants to kick it two cushions. Super hard to get much separation from here. Super hard to hit the ball. Yeah, two two rails, slippery cloth. Have to use some power because if he comes in three cushions, he's gonna have to get the two to go to the rail. Boy, he almost made it. Wow. Look where hit. the cue ball went. He got distance and he got separation here. <laughs> Keeping the pressure on. Great players extract themselves from awkward circumstances and get themselves back to the table with a slightly better arrangement of the balls. It looks like he's earned that. Great shot. Yeah, now the pressure's on Chang to do something to get himself back to the table. Yet another low percentage circumstance to have to play from. Well, he just missed it. Ball in hand. And it's all the momentum filler's way. Well, he wanted an angle. Might be a little too extreme. I think the four goes by the five. Yeah, I do too. Perfect. Terrific speed. Perfect. He's got an angle. Two cushions out to the center of the table. That's a nice play from where he was at. Oh, he has a nice angle. Thin cut on the eight that easily lets the cue ball go to the other end of the table. This is just a matter of ball pocketing and speed control. J 
just about perfect. This table's playing so well. We've not seen any balls roll off. Boy, spot on. Four zeros our score. All because of that good Z two rail kick that Filler produced. Got separation, put Chang in a bad place. That kick turned into ball in hand, which turned into a win. Yeah, he's playing great. We got some great fans tuned in. Stephanie Winkler and the entire pool community of Edith, Oklahoma, thanks for being part of our professional pool family. We love you guys. Rack number five. Filler breaking. Page in the side. <laughs> Switch sides of the table, too. From where he's been breaking. The one ball got batted around a bit. It was headed for the corner pocket or near it. This center centered up the cue ball yet again. Yeah, we're going to see a safe. Might be banking at this, Danny. I think he mishit it because he would have wanted the cue ball to go over here more to play right. the two he, in the side. He and he that one, it a little. Yeah. That was, but Chang has a tough star here. Oh, you're not kidding. But doable. This is, uh, we've seen oh, him. Of course. Yeah. He better do it. Right. The game is getting away from him. The good news is with great players, 4-0 lead is not that big because it's a couple innings away from being tied. Bad players, it takes so many innings, it's an enormous lead. That wow, shot, another rare miss. Well, that shot plays so much more difficult here. He lucks it in. So much more difficult when you're under pressure 4 0. When you're ahead 4 0, that ball goes in much easier. <laughs> right? Yeah. Because you're down there stroking, I thinking, say, I can't but, miss, I can't miss. But from what I've been seeing with this guy, I don't think the psychological enters. No, but that is his third miss of this early stages of the match. And we go through entire matches, he doesn't miss that many balls. But we're so used to seeing excellence, it is shocking to us when he does miss one. Great shot. He's a little bit thin here on the three, so he's going to take his time, make sure he captures this rack. You know, just bend it with draw, or is he going to go into the four here? That's his decision. He bends it with draw. Well, it might be too thin for that, so he's going right into the four. Well, well, he doesn't have a pocket. No, no, he got a super tough shot now. Yeah. <laughs> no he, he's looking at cutting it in the right hand corner. Yeah. But I think he's supposed to play safe. But sometimes the score dictates what you shoot. He's made up his mind what he's doing. No, he hasn't. This is one of those shots where you have to move both the object ball and the cue ball. And so if you're playing safe, it's a very dangerous shot.
He wasn't playing safe, Mark. What a nice hit. Good recovery. Great shot, but he's got another long one. Yeah. Amazing. Good shot. Amazing. Made it look like it was a hanger. Man, heart of the pocket. Excellent speed. All right, four ones are a score. That was a nice out. He had to make a hard shot. Back cut that ball. Made I it work. I think he made a few hard shots. Well, it was a much needed win. Yeah. Don't yeah. want to get five nothing behind. The match was just in the uh, realm where the momentum was starting to slip away dramatically. Main the side ball. Oh, the cue ball did it just hung up. I thought it was down for sure. That would have been absolutely devastating. Look at it, it's hanging over the lip. Perched now it's not easy to deal with, but a ball in hand would have just been just Yeah, it would have been disaster. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't have a shot. But we're gonna see a safety, but how good a safety? Yeah, it's well, I guess he's got to try to move the one up by the, well, we can't even tell, but if he can shoot the one up by the three and try to get the cue ball over behind the five, it be at least behind the seven. I suppose the speed will do be dictated because he's going to want to keep that. Oh, he's jacking. He's going to use some power on this. Well. I thought that was the way to go off the three, but he left the shot. Yeah. There's a open pocket to look at, but it is a long ways away. We would bet that Filler makes it. was not an easy shot, but he had position if he made it. Was not a bad stroke, too. It was not jerky at all. It was just that hard of a shot that he did barely miss it.
chat. Yeah, a little too far. He's got to do some work here. Decision. Shot. Yeah, he did not use this uh, side spin on there, and if he did, it was only a hint of left. There was no running English on that to check it up like that. And then perfect speed, and that comes the comes from the accuracy of hitting the pocket pure. Spin down. That's nice speed. Just a hint of an angle. That way he does not have to leave the cue ball on the cushion. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, most uncaring. That's about the fourth open ball miss. Yeah, I didn't expect him to miss that one after or gets, the other one. After he got such good position, too. I just said he got the perfect angle. <laughs> He's played so well all week and then at the International Open, and we're just not used to seeing it. It's, once in a while you see him miss, but we're not used to seeing this many misses right. from him and he's this is a five by ten you've played hard you're tired you know so blah, blah, blah. but anyway the point is he did miss a couple balls he's showing he's human now we get to see how he uh, performs with great adversity because the psychological part of it is actually worse than the score now you have to start second guessing everything Well, Fiddler doesn't mind. Here's the one ball heading for the pocket. It hangs up. Dry break. <laughs> Fiddler's disappointed for sure. He does not want to put uh, Chang back in with a nice open look like this. Speed. No problem going two to the three. They're all open.
think we're going to see a draw stroke here. Wrong. <laughs> Look at that angle of approach he had between the those two of balls. Right between the balls. Beautiful. Not accidental either. No, you have to be hitting the pocket purely. He had just a hint of an angle, so the draw was going to be tough, and he thought this was just a little bit greater yield. And even if he nicks one of those balls going by there, which he does not want to do, he knew he would likely not be hooked. Tell you, one of the things I love about Chang's game is when you watch that stroking elbow, you do not see it degrade or erode. that means is it's a very compact stroke and it's much easier to maintain additionally it produces greater accuracy and better speed control because of the greater accuracy Nicely handled there from the dry break by Filler. 5-2 is our score. Player timeout. Our score is 5-2. We're back from a short player timeout. Chang Jung Lin set to break. Rack number eight. You would love to generate a little offense from here, even if it just means get a ball down and have first chance to play safe. At the one ball drifting back to his corner pocket. He'd prefer it not to go in, but it did. Yeah, it would have been Three, good six. to just stop there, but... Man, made four balls on the break. Now he snookered it yeah. totally on the three. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is actually a hard push out. Well, you got to try to push it where the guy has a long shot and tough position. No, no, he's not going to push out to a shot. He's going to push out to a kick. You don't dare let this kid shoot. If you're playing a bad player, you could do that. That's no, not. I think you got to leave distance and tough position. Well, it looks like you're right. I would push the other direction. That's All what right. he's doing. Well, there's no way the filler is not shooting this. It's a tough position. If the shot is tough. Oh, absolutely. He already missed it once, but he's shooting it. If he runs out from here, that's a terrible push out. Despite the fact that this is a hard shot. I got to consider giving it back. There's no way. There's no way he'd give it back. He might get a backdoor safety even if he misses. He doesn't have to lose. Great shot. Yeah, it sure was. He's going to have to make another great shot here. That's why I would have gave it back. That's why I'm sitting up here with you, Mark. Well, I don't know about that, because uh, it is if he certainly missed, but 
these guys, they don't want to watch the other guy shoot, especially when he's forced to shoot, and then end up running out either. Hit the point. So the push out worked. Yeah, it gives him a little breathing room now. Mm -hmm. He can get out. Okay, Chang wins, good push out then. Five, three. Well, hello, Mary Keniston. Does this mean you're not gonna be at the dinner Wednesday? <laughs> Got Mary Keniston listening in from Florida. Glad to have you along, Mary. She was one of the top women players, and she got sick. It hindered your career a little. Filler breaking here. Five ball was heading for the side pocket, got kissed out. Did anything else go in? No, a dry break. This match is likely to get much, much closer. They opened up pretty well. Can he get off the rail? He'd like to be right there if he can get the cue ball back there. Oh, yeah, that'd be fantastic. Pretty good. I think he'll be shooting the four inside after the three. No. He felt better doing this. Either way, it looks like he can get out. Yeah, he's checking the 610 combination. That means if he's thinking about playing the 610 combination, he's going to have to put the cue ball on the other side of the nine. I don't know if we have a chance to get the overhead. But if we do, that was diagram, exactly where I think it's going. Here to here, but it's got to come in there pretty tight to that nine ball to get that angle. No, he went to the other side. Yeah, I don't think he's playing the combination. And clearly not if he went to that side of the nine. Going to draw the ball.
very hard-working player. Played Shane Van Boning here late last night. Played a great match, won 11-9. I came down here at 10.30 this morning. He was on the 5 by 10 practicing, practicing a couple of shots he was dissatisfied with. Practiced for a pretty good while, hour and a half. Played a match earlier today. Then I came back down here after dinner. He was practicing. Now this match. Tricky position here. Right, Mark? Yep. Got to hit yeah, rails. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to draw two cushions, side rail, side rail, and come to the other half of the table behind the nine. Oh, well, that didn't hurt him much. No, he didn't want to bump that. He wanted to come back just a little bit further. I'm sure he was elated when it cleared the nine. He's asking the eight ball to be cleaned now. Good shot there. He missed that shot going the other direction just a rack or two ago. Well, he got perfect here. Our score now 5-4 despite the auspicious start. Chang has clawed his way back into the match. Both players, upper 800s, 895 for Feller, 889 for Chang. Yeah, that's indicative of the score. Seems that some of the balls seem dirty to Chang. He was wiping them down. Steve McDonald's brought a, a ball cleaning towel to the table. Five and nine. Those are the two balls most likely to find the side pocket. Neither one did. Two ball hung up. One ball got in a strange place on the side rail. Eight balls impeding direct access to it.
Well, so far in this tournament, we haven't seen many pushes, but we're going to see one here. Pushed out to play safe. Yeah, what kind of safe you play, Mark? I think he's going to just go thin off the side of the one ball and put it on the far end of the table and try to bring the cue ball underneath the 10 and the 4. However, to do so means that the uh, you'd have to use some right-hand English and you won't go much below the 10 and the 4. In fact, you might kind of go into them. Pretty good shot. I don't know. He might have left the opening. Well, yeah, he doesn't. The, mercifully, the five ball blocks the one because he can hit the one however he wants. He was straight away playing safe there. And a decent safe. Well, here you cut the one into the pie. That'll stop the one from going anywhere. The cue ball can go long. You got to cut the one directly into the pie. It's a pretty full hit to hit the five, though, is the problem. And then, so you're going to have to ramp up the power and when you hit it that hard. You're not hitting it that hard. It's not a thin hit, though, Danny. Oh, it's pretty thin. I think that's the shot. Cut the one into the pipe. You don't have to hit it hard. You're just going to get the cue ball a little bit long. Well, it's like in the old days playing Irving Crane. Mm -hmm. Whatever he decided, you knew was the right thing. Yeah. So let's see what uh, Chang does here. That's kind of a, a sticky one here. I like that shot. Cut the one into the five and go distance. Well, he tried that, but he double kissed it. And he snookered him anyway. Yeah, it worked out good. Yeah, I think it was it was. It was that if he zoned down there, he came out really about as well as he could have hoped for. Better than he hoped for. Yeah, despite the circumstances of having the double kiss, because you don't know how that's going to respond. Filler looks like he's going to have to, well, he's not mass saying. He's just going to try to go soft speed and nick the one. He did so. Yeah, but it didn't turn out real good. No, that's not a great result. Chang can bank this if he wants. He can also bend the cue ball around and get safe down below the six if he wants. Such an on-angle bank. I think he's going to go for it because the position's not an issue. The two ball's hanging. Good bank. Mm-hmm. To me, it's just remarkable at how well these guys play on 5 by 10s that they're largely unfamiliar with. Yeah, I don't see any flaws at all. Makes the right choices. Hardly ever misses. He missed more today than all week. No doubt. Plays hard, too. You know, every match, every ball. It's very draining. And the good thing is, 
He's got 8,000 for sure. Yeah, that's always great. That'll make your wrist a little looser. He's only 33 years old. He's just now getting set to enter the prime of his pool playing career. I would say mid-30s to mid-40s, maybe even late-40s. Much later than in other sports. No problems here. Such a clinical precision with Chang. It's like a textbook of how to play 10 ball. Just a couple balls away from tying up the score here. Good shot. Well, he went a little bit far. He's good, but he would have rather been straight in. Got a little more out of that shot than he anticipated. He was trying to stun it forward. and He cut it just a little more than he thought to stun it forward, and that's why it drifted. He's got to protect the cue ball now. Ten ball Good finds shot. the bottom of the pocket. Our score is tied, five games apiece. So it's quite a turnaround here in the match. Boy, it started off all filler, and now here we are. Chang has somehow clawed his way back into this despite some open ball misses well, early somehow on. Somehow, he slowed the uh, filler down. You know, filler's a rhythm player, and he ha he's been slowed down a little. Nine ball drifted to the side. The cue ball got kissed near the pocket. Four and five surrounded. Doesn't it. have a shot. Right. It's not easy to tie up balls here either, Danny. Bad spot he's in. But that would be the shot if you could tie a ball up. Because you're going to get the worst of pushes. 
Yeah. And you're not going to try to kick at this. Push out. Tough spot to be in. Well, truthfully, I did not care for shooting at this shot. I think Chang will give it back. Yeah, I believe you're supposed to give it back here. He didn't do it yet. No. He knows that uh, Filler's going to try to play safe by maybe just rolling onto the two, banking it back down along the long rail and putting the cue ball near the 10. Yeah, the five will protect him. Chang would like to do it, but he also knows there's some minor fi failure rate with that. You hate to lose playing some type yeah. of a super delicate save from 10 feet away. He still hasn't made up his mind yet. No, and he chooses the entirety of his shot clock here on his extension. Seems like he's going to shoot it. Oh, terrific. Pretty good hit. Unless it deadens up here. That would be I sad. I think it did. Oh, boy. It deadened up all right. <laughs> yeah, that is absolutely hideous for Chang. Well, not yet. Right, right. It doesn't seem like it's a little bit to the outside. Now, oh, now boy. he did. That's unlucky. Banked that ball perfectly safe. Went dead. Your opponent had a rail first, and now he's got a run out. Ooh, this is tough. <laughs> yeah, this is. Yeah, that you got to use a better. bridge, and you can't tell where your tip is next to the cue ball, so it distorts your timing, hit the fine edge. Yeah, I don't think he should play this ball at all. No, I think he pl should play safe. Knock it to the other end. Leave the cue ball near the end rail here. Hmm. Easily said. Yeah, right. He's got the bridge. Oh, he wants to cut at it. I just couldn't imagine he's going to cut at this ball, is he? That's Well, yeah, I guess it is makeable if you hit the edge. Yeah, I think he's cutting at it. Now he's going elevated Q, so he's definitely not cutting at it now. That's a good result. You don't think he could make this? I think he has a shot at it. Oh, maybe then. If you Here on the monitor on the overhead does not look like it, but then when I look down on the table, it looks like maybe. No bargain, no matter what. The cue ball's froze on the end rail. He double kissed it, but he didn't lose his head. Hmm. Well, he was trying to play safe, hit it too thickly, double kissed it. Nice. The filler where he's got a kick at it, I guess. Yeah. Two rails. You got to hit the second rail. I believe. Two rails trying to kick it in the corner. Yeah, he didn't hit anything. See what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. 
The rhythm might be gone right now. Boy, beautiful. Nobody in the tournament puts the cue ball on the mark as often as Chang Jun Lin. If we were to pre-draw circles on the telestrator of where the cue ball is supposed to be, no one would be closer on a consistent basis. Six five. Chang in front. First time in the match he's had the lead. Yeah, he was losing four nothing. Now he's beat him six to one. Great care with the aim here on the break. He knows how important getting something offensive rolling from the break. Well, the Two ball went around the table and went in. Something else dropped. He has a shot on the one. Three balls fairly heavily defended. Well, the one is not a gimme. Guess it is. A little tricky. Get to the three. Yeah, he's debating. <clears throat> I like this part of it because he comes over to the one, takes a look back at the three to see where could he get. I think it, I don't know if we can get the telestrator, but if we can, I think he can play it in here, come over here and bring that cue ball back this way. Not saying it's easy, just saying I think that's what's going to be what he settles on.
Yeah, Mark, it's a little easier with your finger. <laughs> <laughs> True that. Tough position. Very tough. Has to bring the cue ball between the six and seven ball and then not get tangled up on those balls, too. Doesn't appear he's going that way. He's going to go straight across. Oh. Nope. Yeah, he's snookered. That was an interesting approach there because he didn't use any right hand English. So it, he was not playing my shot. He was trying to come off the side, but you had to. Boy, that was narrow. I don't think he can bank this ball straight uh, across corner. Might be able to cross it. I don't know if he can hit it full enough. Nope. Another great safe. Yeah, he has the edge, I believe. He can hit the paint. Which he did. safety here I believe just going to try to get the cue ball oh no oh, wide open offense <laughs> what a shot that was in position too he yeah I wanted play, to yeah. say he was cutting it but I thought that was crazy and but it went right in not only did he make it but he used the right side of the interfering object ball to direct the cue ball down closer to the four not by accident either world class pool Straighter on that previous shot. Now he went a little bit too far, so he may have to play kind of like short side position over here. Problematic as I thought. I love how hard he works during the match, too. Every shot is focused. draw back just a little bit beyond the center of the table this time preserving a nice angle checks his line to the pocket
Great speed. <laughs> yeah, he just comes up with that shot all the time. Two game lead. Chang well, you over see filler. what's happened? He's breaking the rhythm of uh, filler. filler. Look at the rack track there. Filler started off winning four in a row. Chang won one. Filler won one. And now Chang has won six in a row. Chang has improved his TPA to over 900 now. After a very sluggish start. Filler made a ball. The one ball's over by the corner pocket. Yeah, he made a couple, and he's got a shot on the one. Well, he's got some work to do mm -hmm. here. Yeah, most guys try to work a little harder to get to the other side of this two bomb. I think the shot played just a little bit awkwardly for that, so he'd rather make the one and then just try to shoot his way out of it from here. Yeah, he's measured up. He's Looks like he's trying to go around the nine ball, two cushions, back down towards the eight. He didn't. No, he went heavy into yeah, the nine. I could see that was going to be a problem. Dead snookered. He's going to try to kick the four ball in here. Well, it's a big ball, but you still got to hit it good. Like she did. Wow. <laughs> that deserves some applause. <laughs> wow. What a shot. Great shot. Checked it up with Inside English. Pretty shot there. Got to come back a little. Which he did. Mm, hit that really nice. Hey, he's got to hit the end rail. No problem. He overcut it a little bit. That hurt his speed control, so he's got just a little bit tougher shot on the 10 than he wanted. Filler now has six games, Chang seventh. Good shot. Yeah, exciting rack. He needed that rack. Yeah, he really did. That was recapture a little of the magic he had going on early on. $16,000 for first, $8,000 for second. Not much of a split when you come all the way from China and Germany. Try to get it. These guys just genuinely love pool, and that's why they do it. And every time they win a tournament, they love it more.
Chang has been successful five out of six breaks. Chang Jung Lin won the Air National Open last fall. $40,000 prize fund. And we did that one too, Mark. Yes. Very impressive. I had his Pro Tour earnings from last year. I think it was $61,000. Balconies are full, floor seating full. Five ball found in the pocket. One ball is drifting to its corner. That drop twos out here. Took a unfortuitous twist there. Hidden behind the four. I mean, you're going to push here, but where do you push? No, this is real ugly. Yeah, you might have to push to a kick. Or is he kicking <clears throat> now? No, he's pushing. I think he can see the edge of the two. This is going to be a safety play that requires a perfect hit to judge the speed of both object ball and direction of cue ball. Wasn't as bad as I thought. It was very manageable. Well, he certainly can hit the two. I don't know if he can cut at it. Caught a little fuller than he meant to. Oh, he didn't get him. He left the shot, but how do you get to the three? Unless you want to bank it the long rail. What a shot. That's how you get to the three. <laughs> Look at you Peller. hit it. <laughs> <Peller's> body ladies. <laughs> That's a great shot. Yeah. He took off like a rabbit that had been startled. He shot that shot and saw the cue ball land heavily on the three. He was delighted. Perfect. Good shot there. Great speed. Look at that. Playing their hearts out here for this top prize. Most prestigious title here at the Derby City. 
classic in my opinion. Certainly knows which way to go. Mid leg tempo to tie the score. Seven seven. Race to four. See Mark Wilson, the other Mark Wilson, sitting in the front row down here next to Stu Montana. Glad to have Dennis Walker and John Scalisi alongside. These guys never age. Party on Garth. Chris Salvo is listening in. Seven ball on the side. One ball. Cue ball got kissed. Well, is he going to shoot this up the corner? <laughs> I would not think so, but I've been wrong so many times that I'm going to just let uh, we'll, we'll let this play out. The position is so tough. I, I, I wouldn't imagine. Very this. tough. You know, the young man wants to shoot. Yeah, he does not uh, enjoy playing safe. He didn't come here to play safe. He came here to run out. But he is playing safe. Played safe. And a good one. Snookered him with the A. Better say hi to Alan Oliver, too. He's tuned in back in St. Louis. He stopped down for a day, enjoyed the proceedings, now watching at home. This is a monstrous shot to take on. The cue ball's got to travel up and down the table. But he's going to hit the ball. And the four ball is potentially in the way. Well, he missed it. He hit it real first. That was most peculiar. I guess he, he obtained a little bit more squirt than he anticipated because he hit the rail first. That left was a thin cut, but he left it. Oh, yeah, after that previous shot that Filner made. Well, last track, I'm confident he's going to play at this one. Again, position is tough. The so seven sevens our score. This kid is so talented, so accurate. Uh oh. I don't think he got to the two. Well, he can't see it to make it, I don't believe. I think he might, might be able to hit the edge. Yeah, I think he can graze it. He jumping? He did. 
jumped it too much, Danny. Oh, yeah. and got safe. <laughs> I think the crowd is favoring Hiller slightly. Yeah, he's got a chance to kick cut this in. Well, he hit it anyway. It's going to leave a long shot. If there is such a thing for filler. Beautiful stroke execution right there. Filler. Bundle of energy. Another great shot. Good speed control there. That awfully soft. It just feathered in there. Perfect. Right where he wanted to be. Yeah. Solid player, this kid. Yeah, he... He's going to draw back, and it's going to come near the 10. Yep, he's, he's, that's exactly what he's declaring here. I'm going to bump into the 10, and hopefully I get a shot. He can also, depend upon how it hits the pocket, he can barely miss the 10. All the way oh, back. Oh, he got perfect. Yep, all the way back and up. Great shot. Man, you're not kidding. 8-7. These guys bring tremendous weapons to a match. they got so many tools to win with. Great understanding of the kicking game. Both of them play killer safeties. Chang, perhaps better on the pattern play. Filler, definitely better on the shot making. Filler's now won three games in a row. He leads 8-7. He's getting near the goal line. Everybody's having fun in the crowd. That's good to see. A lot of people laugh and smiling. A little different vitality in this arena than other years tonight. Five ball found the side pocket. The one ball comes down by the corner. A very thin cut for Chang. I don't know that he could even reach it well enough. No, well, he's going for your, No, he's switching extension. He's going to the extra long extension. <laughs> switching? Oh, yeah, he's... Can't get comfortable. No, he's thinking, yeah, it's just really awkward, the whole thing. Uh, 
going to get this. I mean, he's he's going to have to. Oh, he's going to go left-handed. As I say, he's going to have to risk following the two ball if he was going to go right-handed. Yeah, it was all too tough. Oh, look at that. <laughs> He's got a shot on the one also. I don't know, Danny. It's hard to tell from here, but I, I don't. I think he does. He may. If he does, bad luck for filler. If he doesn't have a cut on the two, good luck for filler. He's winding up like he's shooting. Yeah, I think he gets by the nine. Oh, oh look at this speed. Yeah. That's Pretty good. Wow. He couldn't have hit it any easier than that. That diminished the amount of the wrong angle that he would have, but he still has a hint of the wrong angle. This will be a kill shot, extreme low. Or no, maybe he can follow it forward. I think he could. Yeah, he could follow it forward. Okay, see here on the overhead. That makes it play way easier. I think he's got to draw this maybe with a little right hand English. And go all the way across the table after he hits the rail? Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's what he's doing. Now he stayed on this side of Very the table. Very nice. Plenty good. Very straight queuing. Our score is now tied, 8-8. Eight, eight. Race to three. Well, that was a break and run out, but it was in the most unconventional way. He missed the shot he was playing on the one, knocked in the two. Left himself a long, thin cut on the one, made that, clipped off a ball, picked up position on the three, and he ran out. Okay, filler switch sides from where he was breaking earlier today. Is that a dry break? Let's see five. No, he made a ball. Oh, perfect shot on the one. Just needs to bring the cue ball over by the other side pocket.
This layout looks pretty nice. Looks real nice. Perfect. Yeah, what a nice way to break them there. Perfect layout. And that's a lot of wisdom to have patience to wait for the guy to clean the cue ball. I could never do that <laughs> when yeah. I was younger. I yeah. want to shoot. I don't want to wait for this, but he did it because you can make the cue ball skid if there's a little dirt on it. Steve McDonald. Knoxville, Tennessee. Well, he'll play both balls in the same pocket now. Gonna need a hair right hand English. Nicely done. Pillar. Mm, First player here to get uh, on the hill to get on the hill at nine games. Yeah, this is perfection. It's got to be nice to watch for the people at home. Chang's playing in a 9-12 clip, filler at There you see the stat, he's successfully broken seven out of eight times. Five and nine, right behind the one. Those are the ones that have most frequently found the side pocket, but nowhere near the regularity that they had been. Five, mission accomplished, shot on the one.
Well, it appears that he's going to bank this ball rather than try to super thin cut it. No problem. You see how he takes the time to psych himself up for that shot and kind of do a little police work and go over and, and groom got, the pocket a little bit? Got just the right angle to go one rail to the three. Very hard worker, this guy. It's got the little bit of in-between angle here. It's a little unsettling. Just a little bit flat, but yet it has a little angle. It goes with a little bit of a stun stroke just to create a little more angle for himself. You know, he forfeited his one pocket match just so he could play this. Then he figured he could buy back anyway. I was not aware of that. Usually they don't make you forfeit the, you know what I mean? Usually they accommodate your schedule for that. Yeah, but they would have had to play this at 10 or later. I see. No, I was unaware of that. Yeah, he forfeited the match so he wouldn't have to wait, or nobody would have to wait. I don't know if he plays much one pocket, but with his pool ability, yeah. he'll learn quick. Yeah, but if he doesn't play one pocket, he has what most players lack, and that's execution. The knowledge part of that comes pretty quickly by comparison. Nice shot there. He did a lot of work. Had to use a little thump into the pocket with power. Use the eight ball to slow the cue ball down. Can you imagine if you could coach him in one pocket? <laughs> if he doesn't know, he could execute. You could tell him what you need executed. That would be fun. Right. All these shots, all these shots here have a little bit of strain, a little bit of funny angles. You have to do a little something with the cue ball. This takes tremendous uh, capacity for intense focus to go through these long progressions of balls like this. Very straight backswing. Great shot.
high quality break and run out there for Chang to tie the score at nine. Brace to two. Both players are on the hill to get on the hill. Yeah, it's a pleasure to watch when they play aerialist pool. Yeah. Right, we're tied up nine games apiece. Let's give these guys a hand. Yeah. Yeah, this is great stuff. The audience is loving it. Six ball on the side, one ball going in the corner. Two ball settles into the far end rail. So there will not be a break and run out here. Not only that, we got to have some thinking now. What yeah. do you do? You Six. know you're going to push. Man, but you're pushing tough. against a dangerous player. Yeah, this is tough. You know, you're either going to leave him a shot or an easy safe or a safe he'll figure out. Got to tie up a ball. This is one time Look you at, better tie up a ball. He's winding up to do something. I don't think it's push out. He's thinning this. Uh-oh. Look how it turned out, though. Fantastic. I don't know. Well, the two balls covered. He can't hit the two? I think he could. Well, maybe if he hit it ultra thin. Uh, might, no, he's looking at kicking. <laughs> yeah, that was a... He's looking at the kick. That was a good shot. Well, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That really changed the dynamics of this rack. He's looking at it. I think he can hit the two. Yeah, if if so, all for them. long. Good shot. Great shot. Good shot. Now it's right back where we started. Almost. Yeah, what do you do here? You got to be careful with that 10 ball where it's right. at. You can't yeah. cut the two because you could sell out the 10. Uh, he left the two. Yeah. But he was in a bad spot. Yeah. They can't fault him. There's not much he could do there. Well, Chang's got an excellent chance to get on the hill first. Although a lot of work. Big shot here in this match. He can get some position on the three. Good shot.
Oh, good shot there. Cleanly entered the pocket. Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Eight ball's a little weird. We'll see how he gets on it. I think the eight goes by the ten. Yeah, it does. You just want to be close when you hit that. Yeah, he's looking at the angle where he comes off the end rail towards the eight. That way he affords him the option to get a little bit closer to it than going across table. So he wants to bring this down table near the center of the table here. Above the seven. Now he can go two cushions straight at the eight. He selected an exact point for the cue ball to land here. So he's not just hitting it on a line. Looks at that, double checks it. Pretty. Oh, he got as close as you could. Does he have the angle? <laughs> To go yeah. to the combination, or does he just roll it in, shoot the nine up the corner? He's if looking. he has an angle, he can go to the combination. Uh, awkward to reach. <laughs> He's only got six seconds here to get this shot off. Played the combination, gets on the hill. The guy has ice in his veins. Oh. Great stuff. He's moved his TPA up to a 924. Tough to beat. After a horrendous start in this match for him. Missed three or four open shots. Find that it would be highly irregular. <laughs> yeah, and it's his break on the hill. You know, truthfully, Filler has played outstanding pool in this set. I don't really remember him doing that much wrong, but Chang has just kind of put the clamps down here after that first third of the match. Yeah, he missed two balls early. Chang, four balls. Yeah, yeah he missed four shots early on. Yeah, I count the easy messes. Well, he's landed on the hill and breaking. This will be his final break of the set. Time it's the nine and five ball right behind the one. If 
frequently the five ball has been finding the side pocket and the one ball all the way back down in the corner pocket. One ball's heading there. Two balls across table. I think he has a shot. Yeah, he, he does. does. But look where the three is. Yeah, the three and the four. Ultra tough. Yeah, the two is not an easy shot itself, let alone where the three is. Yep. He's looking at how to play the combination. Yeah. Three, four. It's playing this combination. So he, he figures he's going to make the two. The two is not a gimme. Head stays super still on this delivery. Missed it. Tough shot. Didn't lose his head. I don't think he's going to like this, is he? He left it. No. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely left it. Yeah. Now he's pointing for the uh, combination. He has a chance to get pretty close to it. Well, he's played to get on the combination. He's got a little bit off angle. This is imminently. Oh, that's not going to hurt if you make the ball. He'll have the three in the same pocket. Right, right. It just makes the you know ball in hand is ideal to play this combination. This is certainly missable. Super accuracy. He'll keep his head very still. He just pivots on the elbow. This is a very compact swing. Well, he's really working hard here. I love it, though, because he gets the feeling from doing that. Not many people will exert themselves to that dimension. Oh, great, great shot. shot. Great shot. He made it look natural. I am loving this for sure.
Well, the seven eight, you won't want to deal with another combination, I wouldn't think. So he's planning how he's going to play position. There's plenty of other pockets for this ball. Well, he doesn't have to play for the combination. He's going to avoid playing for the combination. Yeah, it looks like he can go one rail now. Avoid the combination. Or he could go two rails around. Right, even three rails around. Yeah, he's undecided about that. Okay. You, you see where he put his fingertips just below the side pocket? Three cushions. Wants the cue ball to touch the rail right about one diamond behind the side pocket there. Two. Needs another good turn. Speed. Yeah, pretty good. Asking for the cue ball to be cleaned. Stops the shot clock. He's already used his extension this rack. Steve McDowell works so hard, he cracks me up too. His voice, he's from Knoxville, sounds exactly like Jeff Foxworthy. If you turn your back, I always joke around with him. You might be a redneck, yeah. He's pleasant. Chang goes and rechecks the uh, angle here. Gorgeous shot. This is tough to reach. He's a diamond past the side pocket. He's maximum stretched out, and he wants to draw back about three diamonds. Reasonable shot. over to take a look. Cue ball, he'll be playing from the far side of the side pocket as opposed to the near side of the side pocket by the 10. You just drag it over here, just a diamond below the side pocket, bounce away from the rail lightly. Super concentration. Just a little bit of a tester here. Yeah. $16,000 tester. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it's not even so much the money, I don't believe. I really think he wants this title. <laughs> a high quality performance and really a testimonial the whole, the whole to, tournament yeah, quality performance through that but a testimonial to re relentless positivity because he suffered some adversity here struggled with his game got himself together got himself composed set a good example all right everybody thank you for joining us with AccuStats production the world class pool on behalf of Danny Diliberto and myself good night and drive safely Introducing Luke